In this video, I'm going to explain how you can work out the number of hydrogen environments in an organic molecule in order to help you with your interpretation of proton NMR spectra. So we're going to start with propanol, which has eight hydrogens, and I'm going to use this molecule to illustrate to you what we mean by hydrogen environments. So if we take this hydrogen at the end here, you can see it's attached to the oxygen, and it's the only hydrogen in the molecule which is attached to the oxygen. So it's in its own environment, that's our first hydrogen environment. If we look next along, we've got hydrogen here which is attached to this carbon. This hydrogen is also attached to the same carbon. Now bearing in mind that we know that the shape around a carbon is a tetrahedron and would therefore be symmetrical in three dimensions, the environment of these two hydrogens is actually the same. Um, if you imagine you were this hydrogen and you were viewing the molecule from where you were positioned, you yourself would be attached to a carbon, which in turn is attached to an OH, another hydrogen, and a C2H5. This hydrogen has the exact same view of the molecule. It's attached to a carbon, which is attached to an OH, another hydrogen, and a C2H5. So these two hydrogens are in the same environment. So that's environment number two. Moving along, we've got another CH2. Now you might initially think that this CH, the hydrogens in this CH2 are in the same environment as these hydrogens because they are both part of the CH2 group. However, if we compare the two, this hydrogen here is attached to a carbon, attached to a CH3, an H, and a CH2OH. This hydrogen being attached to a carbon which is attached to an H, an OH, and a C2H5. So their view of the molecule is actually different. Um, so this is a third hydrogen environment here. And hopefully you can see that we also have a fourth hydrogen environment these hydrogens at the end of the chain here, their view of the molecule um, is that they, each of them is attached to a carbon, which is attached to two hydrogens, and a C2H5O um, there as well. So we've got four hydrogen environments in our molecule propanol. So we've got four hydrogen environments in this molecule. Now I'm going to talk you through a couple of other in examples um, which um, will help you get the idea of this because as well as thinking about obviously every hydrogen which is attached to the same carbon will find itself in the same environment as other hydrogens attached to that same carbon um, but we also need to consider symmetry of the molecule here so I've drawn a nice symmetrical molecule here this is pentan 2 n um, and you can see that in the middle in the center of the molecule we've got our carbon our carbon and then to both each side, we've got a C2H5. It's a symmetrical molecule. When you have molecules with symmetry like this, you sometimes find that you have carbons located in different parts of the molecule, or sorry, hydrogens located in different parts of the molecule which share the same environment, in other words, the same view of the molecule. So if we take these two hydrogens as an example, each of them is at the end of a five carbon chain. And for each of them, if they look down their five carbon chain, they can see that they're attached to a CH2, and then a CO, and then another CH2, and then a CH3. So their view of the molecule is identical. So these hydrogens are all in the exact same environment. So we'll call that environment number one. The same is true for the CH2 groups in this molecule. Um, these hydrogens are each find themselves attached to a carbon which has got a CH3 on one side and then a C double bond O, CH2 and a CH3 on the other side. Exact same for the others. So this is our second hydrogen environment. So pentantuone only has two hydrogen environments. So on our NMR spectrum we will only see two peaks. Um, the final example I've got here I have drawn for you 2,2-dimethylbutane. Um, and the reason I've drawn this molecule is because this is the type of example you come across quite a lot in your A-level course. Um, we've got methyl groups near the end of the chain. Now in this case, each of these three methyl groups is attached to the same carbon. So all nine hydrogens find themselves in the exact same environment. So we've got nine protons in this, in this instance, all of them in the same environment. Um, so that's environment number one, because each of them is part of a CH3 which is attached to this same carbon. So it's a form of symmetry, um, and we've got nine protons in that environment. The CH2 protons are our second environment here, and then we've got a third environment 
at the end of the chain there. So 2,2-dimethylbutane has three hydrogen environments and it will have three peaks on its NMR spectrum.